Oh, dear. You really think you can get out of those chains, do you, darling? That is really cute. I can't believe you'd even have that idea in your head. You can feel that they're real, right? This isn't a sort of plaything. I am offended that you would even think I would do something like that. <laughs> I'm only kidding, dear. I know you only just woke up. You have no idea what to think right now. You didn't mean anything by it. Don't worry. I know. Where are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time with such meaningless questions, dear. It doesn't matter where you are. You are safe, and that is the only thing that matters, honestly. How do you know you are safe? Well, you are with me, aren't you? Who am I? <laughs> oh, darling, are you really that clueless? I am the villain you have seen on TV for weeks now. And such a powerful man has had his eyes on you. Enough so for a kidnapping. Don't worry. You don't have to feel honored. It really is nothing. Huh? I don't look the same as I do on TV? Well, do you mean that in a good way or a bad way? It's a good thing, huh? Well, I suppose the news outlets don't want anyone to side with me, so they photoshop me to look a little uglier. After all, my charm gets me into lots of trouble. The fact of the matter is, I'm actually quite attractive, at least in my opinion. Don't worry, though. You finding me attractive, that's beneficial to our future plans. <laughs> what plans? Please, dear, how many times do I have to say it? Don't worry about it. I will be telling you things on a need-to-know basis. You will know things as you need to, and you will find things out along the way. I mean, after all, telling you my secrets may prevent it from working, so we have to keep you a little in the dark. So, why don't you tell me your name? <laughs> don't make me beg now. <laughs> Thank you, dear. My name? Well, you can call me Daka. And that's the most intimately anyone has ever known me, so feel honored. You really are special to me. Why you? Well, just look at you, beautiful. You were basically made to be a villain's wife. You just have that energy, appearance, aura. I can't explain it. Mom always told me I would just know. And what do you know? When I saw you, it was the only thing that crossed my mind. Would you believe that? It's almost like it's some dumb rom-com, huh? <laughs> so just out of curiosity, on a scale of one to dear God, let me out of here, please. How are you feeling right now? In this case, one on the scale would be best. I see. Well, thank you for being honest with me. I can tell that you're being at least 75% honest, but honestly, at this point, that will have to do. It's hard to be sure of something when you're all groggy. I get it. You know, my plan was simple before I found you. I wanted to remove this planet from the space it takes up. It truly is a waste. But of course, every plan has a flaw in it. There are a few beautiful things that are worth saving, and that just so happens to be you. And a few other things, but as for people or partners, you, you are the only one I've been spending my time on. Humans in general are just cancerous infections on this planet, and you, my dear, are a beautiful exception. That, however, is the best 
I could explain it to you, and it's probably the only explanation you're going to get, so get used to it. One last thing. I promise you that you will be mine. There are no alternative endings. We are leaving the Earth. The only option that you have lays before you. So do me a favor. Just accept it. It's a straightforward path. You'll be safe the whole time. It was meant to be this way. Always. There was never a point in time where this wasn't your future, so just get used to it for me, won't you? I will take your silence as a yes. You know, I never really liked psychology, or hypnotism in specific. As a non-human, I have always thought it was so useless. But the more time I have watched you humans, I have noticed a very big difference between you and I. I, on one hand, do whatever I want when I want to do it. But you humans, for whatever reason you have so much inhibition, you often don't ever do the things you want to, whether it is for emotions, morals, responsibilities, what have you. You would rather take hate and disrespect and be miserable over it then just fight back, strike against those who show you such disrespect and disregard. However, that of course is just a rule, and rules have exceptions, so that only accounts for a majority of people. You are special in a lot of ways, and that's why I want you to be mine. <laughs> well... Why don't we let the fun begin? Even with my grand powers, my skills in this particular field are a little weak, so it might take a little bit of time. But trust me, it will work. Now come here. Look into my eyes. Trust me, dear. These eyes will begin to feel like home very quickly like a warm comfort is enveloping you. You can finally rest, and if you look for long enough, you will even be allowed to lose the chains. Come on. I know your arms are tired, having to hold up those tired chains. Just give in. Fall into my eyes. Lose yourself in my eyes. And just like that, we're even more connected than ever. As we speak, you should stop being able to feel your body. First, your hands and feet will lose feeling. Then, that numbness will spread up your arms and legs, but don't panic, please. I want you to know that this isn't just a regular numbness. This is special. This is euphoria. You can still feel, but you only feel the good things. The pain in all of your extremities melts away and is sucked out from your fingertips and your toes. Everything melts together, and living in this room right beside me suddenly feels tranquil, safe, and most importantly, it's pleasant. You've now felt that feeling reach your center. Your chest has that same feeling. All pain goes away. And it works its way up your neck. And finally, it reaches your brain. Pain fades. Your stressors disappear. Work doesn't exist here. School doesn't exist here. You have no responsibilities, no chores, no one to worry about, nobody worrying about you. No guilt, no fear. Only yourself, your endorphins, and what you want to do. Now, what is on your mind exactly is the only things you're allowed to do. However, there are some rules. You cannot do these things blindly. You must do them with permission. And you cannot communicate these things to anyone, not even me, verbally. Don't worry, though. I have a good idea of what you want already. 
That is why I'm so confident that this will work out. After all, I wouldn't just watch you and not do my research. <clears throat> Let's see here. You see it in the movies all the time, so I think it'd be funny to try it out. However, I guess this will give us a little insight into your mind. I give you permission to act like a chicken. <laughs> Just making sure you aren't a weirdo now. You didn't want to do that, I guess, but that's okay. I can tell this is working. Your eyes are so glazed over. It's so cute. But just to prove it to you, in case you're skeptical, let's try something you do want. If you want a kiss, I'll give you one. Just reach out as far as you can for it. Whoa, calm down. <sighs> Maybe this no pain thing is risky. You jumped forward so fast you could have hurt yourself. Now relax, my dear. Sit back. <laughs> uh, and just like that, you really are all mine. <laughs> uh, it took a little bit longer than I was hoping to, but we got there. That's all that matters. Now, here comes the fun part. While under my hypnosis, I hope you know that you cannot resist anything. I do not even need a word to say. In fact, your brain will do all of the work for me. As this type of hypnosis allows me to pull out your deepest, darkest desires. It allows me to do a lot of fun things, but let's just start with the basics, okay? Now, I want you to just go ahead and give me a kiss. But the twist is, is you can...